Hello again, Struck Pop. Today I'm bringing you a skills showcase video for one of the relic subclasses in Torchlight 3, and this one is the Electrode subclass. So, in this video, I will show you every active and passive skill, and I will try to demonstrate those in action as much as I can um, in my fort. Uh, and for, for one skill, I had to actually go and uh, fight so I can show you enemies dying and triggering certain procs. So hopefully this video helps those of you who are wondering is the Electrode uh, a class I want to play, um, does um, any of the skills there um, appeal to me as a player, so hopefully you can answer those questions by watching this video. I can tell you my personal stance on this uh, subclass is that's my favorite subclass. I may not have a favorite class, but when it comes to subclasses this is my favorite. Whether it's the strongest, it depends on the build. Um, Electrode is just as strong as Slaming Destroyer on every single hero and um, they are the two strong relics, whereas the Bane relic is very good on train based Trailmaster builds but not as good on other classes. So this is kind of an all-rounder, very good relic for all types of builds. Now let's start with the skills, with the active skills and the first one I'm gonna talk about will be Vocalize Storm, the Aura skill. A skill that uh, you activate, it starts, uh, it starts draining your relic energy and it uh, constantly hits enemies. Now I'm gonna start moving so you can see the distance at which we can hit. We can hit uh, from this distance but if you move a little bit closer it starts hitting. So this is kind of an idea of uh, what the distance of this skill is. And another thing that you should know about this skill is, I'm not sure if it's intended or not, but this skill does not cause chance to proc, uh, a chance to shock. And I think it should, I mean it's a hit, we are doing a hit, so why wouldn't it proc chance to shock from our items or skills? And I do wear a shield with chance to shock and I do have passive that gives me chance to shock, but Walkwise Storm is uh, not proccing it, so I'm probably gonna uh, make a ticket for this um, to see if it's intended or not. Because yeah, it's, it's kind of... It's still a strong skill, it still does a lot of damage and to level up with this skill uh, is amazing because you get that skill as early as level 2 when you get your first extra skill point. So it's, it's a great skill nevertheless and uh, it gives you a damage buff, it gives you a movement speed buff and that damage buff and movement speed buff uh, you give to your allies. And now you're seeing how it synergizes with things like Imbu Relic and if you want Imbu Relic to be uh, on a shorter cooldown you can get Frost Wall and that applies to every single active skill you're gonna see here um, in this video. And um, the Ancient Ember Helm is another good synergy. Uh, it's not that great but it's okay. It's okay if you, if you get it um, uh, in the setup you might have some fun with it. Um, you're seeing how you can just use Im Imbu Relic to keep it up um, and you're seeing how I'm triggering chance to shock with other things, but uh, I'm shocking the enemies. And that this one, once the enemies are shocked, can trigger lightning strike. It may not trigger chance to shock, but it can trigger things such as lightning strike that happen when you hit a shocked enemy. So uh, hopefully this is kind of clear in regards to, to how this skill is. Next is chaotic strikes uh, which is the spammy low cost energy skill and you can see which is kind of the range of the skill it can hit even that far off dummy over there um, synergies would be um, things like again as I mentioned tension timber boots or hatch on a forged with the frost wall uh, and frost wall ideally with the set bonus and another synergy would be egg of mayhem which you're gonna see right now uh, I didn't include it uh, um, as a screenshot I initially on this video but uh, it should be now on your screen and um, then chaotic pants uh, pretty decent then um, uh, for the for the forge you have a uh, mountain king's hatch as a synergy and for the um, for any class you have the fire starter as a synergy and then there's the ancient ember gloves which I've never been able to trigger so Ancient Timber Gloves is supposed to be able to cast this skill and I've tested without spending points in the skill and with spending points in the skill and I was never able to trigger it so maybe it's just still broken and not working but when it does work it might be pretty interesting to, to consider um, that synergy. So you're seeing with Egg of Mayhem I'm um, casting this skill and it's casting uh, randomly other skills that are equivalent on the other relics. Every relic has one such skill with low cost that you can spam. Uh, and uh, the Egg of Mayhem allows you to cast those skills. 
So it may be a bit too much on your eyes, the whole, the whole relic is like that, but let's talk about the next one, Conjure Electrode. This one can give you attack speed and when maxed out even casting speed. Um, synergies would be the Ancient Ember Pants, um, which is a pretty nice synergy. And then the Arc Power Pants is a synergy that you have to keep in mind it does not really work right now. Um, the Arc Power Pants only increases the damage of shock bolts caused by chance to shock. And I think the developers should make it so it works uh, with skills like this one, uh, with skills like um, um, shocking display and with skills like lightning barrier. Anything that the shock bolts should trigger, um, should get bonus damage from the arc power pants. Um, and just like the previous active skills, uh, ancient ember boots slash hatch uh, and frost wall is a good synergy. So you can um, have this uh, more spammy. You can see now it only summons two bolts and I tried to show you multiple instances of this one next to each other. Now, next we're moving on to Lightning Barrier, which is the defensive skill of this relic. Each relic has one such. Um, and there's some more synergies here, actually there's a lot of synergies. Uh, again, Ancient Ember with the Frost Wall, then there's on block synergies, uh, because this gives you chance to block, uh, such as the Holy Icon, such as the Firewall. And then there's uh, Dark Power Pants, as I mentioned, it doesn't really work, it doesn't really increase the damage of those Shock Bolts and hopefully the devs make it so that it works with this skill. Um, and then there's the Ancient Ember Chest that can auto-cast this when your HP is low enough. So another thing I've tested, uh, and you should see me uh, doing it in this um, uh, recording, is I tested if I can cast the skill two times one after the other and stack it. And the duration does not get stuck, uh, stacked, but you have two of those. Uh, two of those at the same time. You don't see them as two separate buffs, but you can see I'm, I'm casting right now double the bolts. Double the bolts, uh, when, ca when, when I cast the second time, uh, it kind of added the buff bar. Um, it added, it didn't add a second icon on the buff bar, it replaced the previous one for the duration, but you were able to see that it was doing double the shock bolts. So that's a pretty interesting synergy with the, with the Imbu Relic skill. Um, I really like um, the idea of having that one there. And those shock bolts uh, can shock enemies because they're, they're uh, as a result of a skill um, um, and they should they should be able to trigger procs but I haven't tested much about that to confirm but in general uh, procs cannot trigger procs unless it's a skill thing so 1000 volt burst um, the ultimate as I like to call it the, the big uh, relic skill that uses relic charge it has the most synergies out of all the items so there's the bone razor bone blocker for summons then there's Quad summons from the Cosmic Power Drones, from the Musketeer Gloves, from the Mountain King Power Drones, uh, and from the Cosmic, uh, from, from the Celestial Power Drones. Then there's Ancient Ember Shoulders, uh, pretty interesting, uh, and I love that item as a synergy to give you Shrine effects. Then Toy Makers too, um, an interesting synergy there as well. Then the obvious synergy, as I already mentioned, for every class, um, for every subclass. Active skill would be Ancient Ember Boot for Imbu Relic and then Frost Wall to reduce the cooldown of Imbu Relic. Um, so you can see, uh, I'm trying to just demonstrate how many times I can activate with a 30 second cooldown Imbu Relic, uh, 1000 volt burst. And I think it was like 5 or 6 times for this around like a minute or so. Um, I think it was minute and 2 seconds clip. Uh, so hopefully that gives you some sort of synergy how um, it works when you have... Uh, the set bonus uh, on three pieces of equipment of ancient uh, um, ancient timber equipment. Now, next we're talking about lightning strike, which is a proc, a very good proc, one of my favorite procs in the game. Um, and basically, uh, as you hit shocked enemies, uh, you have a chance to trigger a lightning strike from above. Uh, and I'm showing you with uh, basic attacks, and now I'm showing you with things like um, the rat balls with the infectious shooter. You can see. With, uh, with those how much it procs now with um, explosive error you can see how much it can proc uh, basically it's it's I think one of the best things uh, of this relic and I think you should always take this passive um, uh, and you should always get extra chance to shock don't rely just on the relic passive um, tingling sensation for a chance to shock Always get uh, maybe in your shield or on your weapon or in your focus item a uh, chance to shock um, 
for X weapon damage for X seconds. Um, this is great. You can see how many of those lightning strikes uh, uh, we are triggering with that. So it works with all sorts of builds, but obviously things that do a lot of hits per second like those uh, po um, poison rat balls uh, with the extra projectiles from the pistol or like an entropy with uh, molten reach would be uh, a better synergy with it. Now this is shocking display and for this one I had to show you uh, myself playing uh, against some enemies because this triggers shock bolts when an enemy that is shocked dies with a chance obviously. Um, so some of the times you would see shock bolts is uh, just from the initial hit of shocking the enemies but sometimes when an enemy um, dies while they're shocked, while they're shocked they're, they will be triggering those extra shock bolts. It's very hard to distinguish which one is from the initial shock and which one is from them dying because they're shocked. Um, but on those uh, bigger HP monsters uh, you can kind of tell that uh, most likely if it dies and does uh, shock bolts it would, it would be from, um, from this skill, from shocking display. So I think the enemy at the very end of this footage you're gonna see this little segment um, does exactly that, um, triggers exactly that and I could actually tell it's it's this triggering, it's a shocking display triggering. So it's a decent skill and for mobbing it's great when you have things like levels with a lot of monsters uh, stacked up uh, and you can kind of get some sort of a chain when one dies and does that healing sensation and then it hits others and so on. So this enemy now, this yellow guy there, it dies and you can see boom shock bolts from, from him dying. And the next skill uh, I'm gonna show you is shocking force and I first wanna demonstrate uh, a bit uh, how that skill is. Um, it gives you basic attack damage and uh, you can see the maze basic attack is 225 uh, and that means um, it's from 150 going to 225 because of the 50% you get. But the 80% attack damage uh, to basic attacks I had in my mace didn't actually work this way because it's broken. If it set uh, basic attack damage to maces it would have worked but if it didn't it won't. Uh, I can't wait for them to fix this so I can do some basic attack uh, synergy boost, builds. Uh, there's a lot of item synergies for basic attacks. Storm blades, necklace stick, maestro sword, um, frenzy's blade. Um, then there's musketeer pens, uh, even skittering legs because if it's a melee hit it would count unless it's a bow basic attack. Um, then there's cosmic um, boots and this skill works with either a mace uh, or with a um, rail hammer on a rail master, with a digitus on a mage or with a bow uh, on a sharpshooter but on a forge you don't have a quite specific weapon so your only choice is the mace there. Since the mace is the fastest attacking weapon it's amazing to synergize attack speed which caps at 60% and it's a good synergy with Conjure Electrode or 1000 Volt Burst or the Liu General item that give you attack speed. So you can see how, how far those lightnings can reach, they can even reach that second dummy. Um, and next uh, we'll be talking about Tingling Sensation which basically gives you this um, chance to shock. But if you, if you have chance to shock in your items this chance to shock works a little differently. See, it's additive, so the chance to shock from items gets added to the chance to shock, the shock duration and the weapon damage um, uh, on shock that you get from uh, tingling sensation. So I'm gonna first show you without um, an item for, uh, with an item for, for ch with chance to shock. So you can see, and this is with the item with chance to shock. Now this is without an item with chance to shock, you can see how long it's taking me to proc it, to proc the chance to shock when I'm relying only on level 5 tingling sensation. So now let's move on to the second damage just to see how many hits it would take. Obviously it's RNG, you might get working and proc it on the first hit, um, but chances are it's not gonna happen um, very often unless you get some more uh, chance to shock. You can see now uh, with the chance to shock item it's, it's a bit different. Now let's wait for those enemies to stop being shocking now let's move on to the other ones. You can see few hits and boom it's shocking. This one boom it's already shocked. Um, this one we already shocked with the first hit the one on the way. You can see sometimes it would take a few hits like this time um, but most of the times if you have at least one item with decent chance to shock over 30% together with the tingling it will trigger 
decently. Now Energizer, I'm trying to show you how this did 3.5 and then 7.1 um, and then 11 uh, on the next hit. So it's like roughly 3.5 energy per hit with the basic attack with the maze without the skill. Now I will uh, spend that energy you will see a big change. Uh, with those 25% I will get by spending points into Energizer to have 5 points. You would see how instead of 3.5 I get 4.5 energy per hit. And now uh, it was 7.1, now it's 8.5. And then it was 11 and now it's uh, 13. So you can see and then it was like around 14 and we now get like um, 18. So you can see um, good gain and that's just 25% energy gain. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea about how this skill works. And this skill exists on every single relic. Every single relic gives you an, an option to spec into Energizer. Um, and it's definitely a nice skill to have uh, if you're planning on using something like Chaotic Strikes um, or um, Conjure Electrode. I wouldn't recommend swatting uh, into it much if you're going for Walk of Ice Storm and using Imbu Relic. If you don't use Imbu Relic, obviously it would be nice to have it. Um, but with Imbu Relic, you can just keep Walk of Ice Storm up at all times without needing this. And that pretty much sums up this showcase. I hope it was helpful for uh, many of you out there and it helped you figure out whether this relic is to your liking. To get notified when I upload more content for this game or uh, other games like this one, which would be Wooters of all varieties, isometric, uh, third-person ARPGs, uh, Wooter shooters and all sorts of uh, Wooters like that, you could subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out uh, on my content updates. And optionally, you can even join as a member of the Struck Club uh, on YouTube as a channel member to get access to exclusive perks such as uh, special emotes custom made by me, special badges custom made by me, that represents how many months you have been a member for, uh, as well as uh, opt-in uh, of editing tutorials that I can give for Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, as well as uh, shout outs and things like that. And I would like to use this uh, part of the video to thank all my um, YouTube members and uh, Twitch subscribers. Thank you for supporting the channel and keeping me going. Uh, thank you also for watching this video, everyone. Keep it cool, uh, Struck Club. Until next time, and goodbye.